Hey everyone, I'm Parker with The Culture Project, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most common questions that I get asked. Is masturbation healthy? As I travel around giving sexual integrity talks to young men, encouraging them to live lives of virtue, one of the most frequent questions asked of me after the talk is if masturbation is okay. They'll often cite these articles that they read online that masturbation is healthy, normal, and fine. And so after hearing this, I did my own research, and really that's all that there is out there. There are so many articles saying that it's totally fine, totally healthy, and just sort of loosely citing some research. So digging deeper in this, I found that most of the research is actually pretty unclear. That most of the research, what they actually point to being the healthy part of masturbation, is usually the point of orgasm. However, a specific study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine actually says that all orgasms aren't necessarily equal. That orgasm reached during intercourse is actually related with higher health, higher happiness, and a greater sense of love. However, orgasm reached during masturbation is actually completely inverse, with lower health, lower happiness, and a lower sense of love. And this is totally different from what we're hearing from the culture at large. Like I said, doing that Google search, all that I found was that it's fine, was that it's just okay. And this is what we're hearing. And it plays into this idea that our sexual desire is this thing that's just welling up, welling up, welling up, and needs a release at every turn. But the fact is, there's actually no evidence at all that says that not masturbating is unhealthy. Our sexual desire is good, and it's definitely there. But it's actually one desire that we don't need fulfilled that will still survive. Our desire for food, our desire for water, that's innate, and we need that to survive. But we actually don't need to be sexually satisfied in order to live a healthy life. Our sexual desires, though, are meant to lead us to another person, so that one day in marriage, we can completely give ourselves to that person in love. And in the sexual act, where we give ourselves to that person freely, totally, faithfully, and fruitfully. But on the inverse, what masturbation does is turns that desire inward. Instead of reaching out to another, we're completely satisfying only our own desires, and those four things of freely, totally, faithfully, and fruitfully are not there. And so that's why it's wrong, because it's a misuse of our sexuality, and it turns us inward only on ourselves. And so when looking online for answers about these issues in our culture, we can't just take things at face value and just assume because there's so much that first comes up that it has to be true. We have to dig deeper and realize the ways that these things are actually harming our lives. We have to realize that we are truly made for lives of authentic love. And the more that we realize this from our own personal experience, the more that we realize that we were made for lives that are fully alive and therefore fully healthy. Thank you all for watching. Click here to subscribe and click here for more videos. Make sure you follow us on social media like Facebook and Instagram. And for more resources, go to thecultureproject.org.